Why hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Legacy of Cain Defiance. Today we are here with our special guest Raciel. He's a dude. He kicks ass. <laughs> Why didn't you do that before, Asiel? Anyway, collectibles. First one is right here. It's a book. Yay! Um, how do we get up there, though? Last time we pretended to submit to our squid friend. To the god of squids. Do, ho, ho. Um, and he's letting us out because he's apparently an idiot. How did we get here in the first place, though? I guess it's the point of last of least resistance. Below me swirled an ominous-looking mist. I knew that if I fell, it would mean my peril. Yes, Raziel can kind of instantly die in this game. So I wonder if that's a race. Do you believe your worthiness is so easily proved? Your way is sealed until you have offered further evidence of your obedience. I must feed you before I depart this place. You must feed yourself, Raziel. The wheel must turn. Ah, now you understand. Well then, souls for the soul, God. Souls, by the way, in this game, look new. And we can freaking move while sucking souls. Which is incredibly useful by running away from dudes. So where are... Oh! Whoops. <laughs> First death in the entire... Quintilogy. Um... Can I get that guy up there from... No, I cannot. I'm kind of glad I can climb this wall because we are kind of in the spirit realm and not really supposed to be able to climb. And you are free to suck that guy's soul anytime, Raziel. Don't stop yourself on my account. You may go, but remember, you are mine. You can no more escape from me. Then you can escape yourself. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, big screw. Anything here? Anything exciting and new? No? Just symbols of the Wheel of Fate. And that's pretty much it. Yay! <laughs> or not. Slower! You want this room cleared of its vermin? If you wish to leave it. Already. You will be done, my good son. Well, Raziel, I'll be a dude. Anyway, we have dudes. We already know how to fight, so yeah. And of course, the squid box to be fair then. Nice, Lua! 
Yes, the rope can eat each other to regain their health. Come here. You see? Obedience brings prompt rewards. Damn squid, you are not um, as smooth as you think. <laughs> This room, though. Where do you think you're going, little soul? The death water, or whatever it is, is going to rise right You quick. can't escape. And the squid does not like us at all. Brazil. Clever as you. Clever indeed. We need to hurry up. <laughs> Since, well, death water rising can't stop for anything. <laughs> Especially not for giants. I've endured enemies. your game long enough. Are you sure? Clearly my escape had not been anticipated, or my benevolent master would not have expended such efforts to prevent me from going. And if my departure displeased him, then that was a victory, however small, for me. Ha <laughs> ha! Raziel won, squid In the zero. spectral realm, water is as thin as air, putting this opening far beyond my reach. But once I found my way into the physical world, I might be able to swim up there. Well, then looks, let's look for a gate, I guess. Okay, got both of the tones. Excellent. Um, is there any way up? Yes, there is. And over there, I believe. Looking good! Excellent. Of course, Raziel has lost all his power-ups from the last game again. Because he's just smart like that. No Reaver upgrades for us. Well, to be fair, they might have been absorbed into the Soul Reaver when we got kind of stabbed by ourselves. This door would only open when fitted with an appropriate artifact. But to use such an object, I would first have to find a way back into the material realm. Yeah, yeah, we are working on it. Stop pestering me about that. Um, this way, maybe. Wow. Um, I don't like them already. <laughs> well, train is going even wah. this way, I presume. Yay, a portal! At last, I discovered a conduit into the material realm. I would finally escape the spirit world and take one step farther from my tormentor. <laughs> Did you think to receive the same favors after your rebellion as before? No, Raziel. I have no need for you to enter the physical world, so no conduit will be granted. 
You serve me adequately as a wraith, and a wraith you will remain. So, my restraints had not been removed, only loosened. I would not be held prisoner in the Spectral Realm. There had to be another way. Well, I guess in that case, let's have a look around and see if we can find another way. He doesn't look quite comfortable squeezing himself through the iron bars, but oh well. As I emerged, I was granted a vision of what I would become if I did not escape the Spectral Realm. For these two were agents of my master, hunting the lost souls that struggled to escape the endless twilight of the underworld. And no one likes them. Especially not me. Especially not when they are sucking my soul! Especially not because they are freaking flying. Oh, did one of them die? My master's oh. plan for me was ominously clear. Like these mindless hunters, I existed only to fuel him with souls, siphoning their energy to feed him and his wheel of fate. I had to break these bonds. I still possessed my own will. Well. Looking... Fabulous for Raziel. But Kane has, his, has problems of his own. You know what? Let's fight this. These guys because they're freaking annoying. Also have a second to spare. I'm gonna save the freaking game. <laughs> um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Let's Play Legacy of Cain Defiance. This is Cain, obviously. You can tell because of his brooch on the on his chest. Also, it's a massive scar he has there. Oh well. Um, yeah, this is Nigger and farewell.